How difficult has it been to do this film? It's been fairly difficult. Hi, I'm Jonathan LaPlante. Dan Graham. And Edison. Before we even finish filming the first bullies, people are coming up to me saying, so what's the sequel going to be about? <laughs> Let's get the last scene done first before we do it. So we've been talking about a sequel for years now. My character is actually usually pissed off. Like, he's best friends with RJ, but at the same time, he likes getting on his nerve. Well, Mitch is the brains. RJ is the brawn. I play a girl named Sue. I'd say she's pretty, like, blunt about things. Like, you know, kind of like one of the guys. I play the character Chance, which I played before in my first feature film, Bullies. If you look at the original Bullies, it's basically you have the two characters that come back to town that have left their town for many years and they come back and it's different and it's run by this bully. Most of the time, like when I tell people that I'm in a movie, uh, when they ask, like, oh, what's about it? What's it like? Most of the time, the first thing I say is, oh, it's kind of like a modern western. It's some sort of the, the theme. yeah, some of the yeah. things that we're incorporating into the film is from western. It's an R-rated flick. It's a very violent, and serious movie. If you could pick a role, who would play? What type of role would you like to play? I kind of like being mean. When you when you write a script, you have something in mind, but. Um, it's very always very difficult, especially in independent film, to try and keep it strictly to the script just due to cash flow and or lack thereof. But it's a work in progress and this movie has grown as we have made it and it has become better and better, so it's it's gotten better than I hoped it would be. How are the new actors? We have Dan Graham, Dan DeVideo, and, uh, Jason Barnes, Mindy, uh, Melinda, and I know kind of how to spell her name, I don't know how to pronounce it though. Yeah, but we see, we've done comedy, we've done drama, we've done uh, mystery, Dublois. Dublois. It sounds more Irish, but it looks French. It's yeah. Irish. Yeah, it it is Scottish. Irish? We have done very serious action, we've done semi-serious action, we've done skits. So it looked like the boys or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so Melinda and the boys. I don't think we're set to any one genre, so yeah, I, I'd i like to see us going on to do like a sci-fi, maybe like a Stargate type of thing, or... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to do a Stargate type of thing, yes! I haven't got the ring. Uh, <laughs> people say when you make sequels, sequels have a tendency just to be all about the action, you know, less story, which I think is actually kind of nice for us because the original movie was just about action so if we just made a movie that was about bigger action it wouldn't be lacking from the original one but I think we've gotten a better story with uh, more characters in it and more deep characters in it and it's, uh, it's been an inspiration to make a real western type of film where it's about these characters all of them kind of have this history and this dark past to them and they're all trying to work together to get a greater good done so what, in, what inspired you to make Bullies 2? Bullies won. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, stupid question. Uh -huh. <laughs>